In the wintertime, you'll see them all over the roadways, the sidewalks, golf courses, just from falling out of trees. It's almost raining iguanas, if you will. That raining of reptiles caused by cold temperatures keeps redline iguana removal busy. Perry Collado is co-owner of the South Florida-based company. He showed us what he found at this Miami Beach property after an overnight cold snap. This isn't too far of a fall. You would think that he would be okay, but because he was in a shady area for so long and it was cold for so long, mm -hmm. he didn't make it through the night. Many of the calls come from Collado's regular customers. And while two iguanas on this property were dead, he usually finds them unconscious. But they don't stay that way, so they must be removed. Iguanas are cold-blooded animals, and uh, they need the heat from the sun to survive. These these iguanas caged in the back of his pickup truck are beginning to regain their energy under the warm afternoon sun. Now this iguana is one of more than a hundred that Redline collected in only a three hour period. He's still cold to the touch and lethargic. Green iguanas are invasive to Florida and constantly reproduce. So Collado says a brief cold spell would have no effect on curbing their growth. We saw iguanas immobilized by cold temperatures laid out on the ground in West Palm Beach. And a West Palm resident sent us this picture of an iguana hanging upside down in a tree in a temporary state of suspended animation. For it to be cold enough to le be lethal for an iguana, it's got to be around 40 degrees in the 40s for four consecutive days. And that brings an important safety reminder from the experts. If you come across an iguana that looks like it's dead or asleep, they say don't handle it. Doing so may open you up to diseases like salmonella. Instead, call a professional. Reporting in Miami Beach, Ron Burke, WPBF 25 News.